Yo, what's up peoples, what's up peoples, what's up peoples It's your boy MM2K, back again with another one, you know how I do it But before we go too deep into this one, can you do me a huge favor Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button Rock those bells for notifications, please so you know when your boy's dropping these doses I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask And on top of that, please, just one more favor even if you gotta pause this video and come back, do you see on the screen now, okay? I have a Twitch tag, I have a Mixer tag. I know y'all watching this on YouTube. I know we chop it up on YouTube, we have a lot of fun, but what y'all don't understand is that, you know what I'm saying? The People's Champ, MM2K, gotta have a stable platform to keep giving y'all these doses, okay? Me and YouTube ain't there yet, okay? We, we trying to work some things out, but we ain't there yet. So I got other material coming to other platforms, primarily Twitch. So again, if you got to pause this video, go to Twitch. Go to Mighty Most 2000. Go to twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000. All right? Follow me there so you know when them doses are dropping there. Then on top of that, I'm going to be doing some, some game streams on Mixer. We're going to have some material for Mixer too, okay? We're not going to leave them lost in the sauce. Follow me at MOS2000 over at Mixer, okay? But with that all being said, done, let's get into today's topic. Okay, this old Fortnite thing, right? You know what I'm saying? Where um, EA and Epic were in front of the UK uh, Parliament or whatever the hell they was, you know what I'm saying? Testifying for their life about why loot boxes are not the, the end of, of, of all children and you know, nobody's trying to eat the babies and throw them in pits of lava. You know what I'm saying? It's this whole, this whole kit and caboodle. But I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into the MM2K rant in a little bit. Before we get into the rant, let's talk about what's going on. May, major headlines. That while doing this testifying, my people's at Epic said in front of the UK Parliament, we ain't making no money off of Fortnite. <laughs> Even though I think it was like... Uh, 2.4 billion. I, I've seen reports and numbers and stuff like that. I don't have the numbers right in front of me. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care too much about Fortnite to remember anything about that damn game. Except this was very enlightening and it leads to a whole bigger story. Like I always say, we need to look at from 5,000 feet, right? So the thing is, let me read you the article. Okay. It says, in a strange term, early on in this session, that Fortnite um, and Epic, well, Epic was at, along with EA talking about loot boxes. Um, there was a strange moment when Matthew Weisinger, the director of marketing for Epic Games, actually attempted to state that Epic Games don't make money from people playing the game. He specifically stated this. I would disagree with the statement that Epic makes money from people playing the game. The battle royal mode is free to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now this article, I'm reading this article courtesy of WCCF Tech. You know what I'm saying? And they follow up with that was saying, now, how is this the case? I would have to wonder. Yes, you pay for the Save the World version of the game. Though, to my knowledge, is the writer writes, Save the World doesn't exist on mobile platforms. The last I checked, Epic Games earned revenue from Fortnite on mobile platforms. This would seemingly go against the assertion that Epic makes no money from playing the game. Okay, so I'm going to say this. Okay. That was a little bit of F-free from Fortnite. And a little bit of F-free F -free too from EA Games as far as their take on the loot boxes. They said there was some sustained surprise elements or something like you were dipping your hand into a magical bag of goodies when you <laughs> went and purchased loot boxes via EA. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's what it's, it's Wizards 101. You know what I'm saying? When you when you do a loot box. But here, okay, but besides that, right? Besides the silliness, here's the bigger issue, people. All right, we got all the chuckles and the huckles out. Here's the thing that's burning MM2K up right now. Notice who was there at this 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 meeting, okay? It was EA and Epic, and I get it. Because of Star Wars, whole big shebang, there was interest in EA's take, EA's take on loot boxes and microtransactions. And then we got Fortnite, so hence why they were there. But most of these transactions occur through who? The big three, right? The big three being Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo's platform. Where were they at? They were nowhere to be found. 
And if you notice, whenever we have these video game discussions, you rarely, if ever, see those three at any of these parliament hearings or, or U.S. Senate hearings and stuff like that. You know why you don't see them there? Because their lobbying efforts are at a thousand G, as my, as my homie uh, Yabari would say, right? They're not there because they're paying these mugs off. So therefore, if the if you don't have to testify in regards to something integral to your day-to-day -day business, but you got other people in the periphery have to testify because you got good lobbying uh, mechanics set up between you and these government entities, then you gotta ask yourself, how honest is these hearings? You know what I'm saying? What is the purpose here? Is this is a dog and pony show? Are these people really looking to do good by the public or gamers by having these hearings? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, think about it, people. Now, I get it. My loot box crusaders, you know, they don't, they, they, they think they got the answers to the world. A lot of these people are young people. And I, I, look, I got children that's going out in the world. My son just, you know, graduated high school, daughter in college. You know, these are, this is the, this is the children of the future, right? I, so I get it. MM2K gets it. But one thing I always got advised by children is that you don't have the answers to everything. And I always feel like that you're a place to learn. Always apply what you learn to the stuff you do know to make the world a better place. But you don't have the answers. I am your, your, your dad and I don't have the answers. I still got to learn. So why am I saying that? I'm saying that because the young children today, they want to join the SJW movement or the anti loot box movement. They think they got all the answers. But meanwhile, the government is playing you for fools and the government is, is integral in your anti loot box tirades, okay? They're playing you for fools. Let me give you an example, okay? A lot of y'all probably ain't old enough to remember this. But believe it or not, it may sound like the boy MM2K just sit there and eat ham hocks all day and, you know, just, just, you know, lick his fingers after eating a whole dozen of donuts, you know what I mean? But at one point in time, and that may be true, but at one point in time, your boy was a, was an avid, you know, weightlifter, okay? I was taking supplements and stuff like that, you, you name it. All legal substances, let me be clear. Creatine, you know, the uh, weight gainers, the, you know, the, the popper, all that stuff, right? Then came this, this, this um, supplement called ephedra. What ephedra does is it gave you a boost of energy and it helped you lose weight rapidly. The thing with ephedra though was that it was very dangerous if you did not drink a lot of water and keep yourself hydrated because you were losing weight at, at massive levels. We had an, an, an unfortunate circumstance, don't remember the guy's name, NFL football player. He was taking ephedra, didn't hydrate himself well, was um, practicing for them. He was a Minnesota Viking. Um, he, he passed away because he was under extreme heat um, and he had took an ephedra, taken ephedra, excuse me, and did not hydrate himself again. So the government got involved. Just the same way that everybody here, the loot box warriors, they want the government to get involved and stop this. Government got involved to quote unquote stop ephedra. You know what was the government's way of stopping ephedra? The government's way of stopping ephedra was not stopping ephedra, but putting a goddamn tax on it. All they did was said that ephedra was only allowed at pharmaceutical grade. Therefore, because it was at pharmaceutical grade, they could tax it and put ephedra back out there on the goddamn market. That's all they did. Okay, so the government was not making money off of this. And this is what the government does time after time after time. Young loot box warriors, take it from your boy, your man, 2K, and I'm not trying to get political here, but what I'm trying to tell you is, the government is all about throwing up smoke screens to make you think they're fighting for you when they're really just trying to get their piece of the pie. These mugs are not going to stop loot boxes. All they're going to do is apply a tax on top of them, and guess who that shit is going to roll down to? Excuse my French. It's going to roll down to us, the consumer. All right? All the government does is set up smoke screens. One more story before we wrap this up. And, and, and it's a funny thing this all happens. Things happen for a reason. Just yesterday, cutting the grass. The wife is, you know, said she's threatened, she was threatening my life, y'all. She said, MM2K, grass is getting too goddamn high. Cut it. Stop making all these damn videos and pew pewing on the, on the video box with your friends. So I had to cut the grass. 
homeboy of mine come by the crib. I ain't seen him in a minute. We was chatting it up. I was like, you know what, man? He was ripping on my shoes. He said, man, your shoes look horrible, man. It look, it look like something horrible. You look like Huckleberry Fred out here, man. He said, man, you need to go get some new shoes. I said, you know what? You're right. Let's, let's, let's hop in the ride. Let's go to the mall. Let's go get some new shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, right? Or 3. I can't remember the exact time. So, it wasn't a lot of traffic. It was around lunchtime, though, right? So, we get to the we get to this little strip mall. I go to go buy, the, buy my shoes. And me and my boy walking in. Now, my boy does, he, he's like, he does um maintenance so he's a little ground up i just got done cutting the grass i'm a little ground up we're not the crispy and cleanest looking dudes walking in the store right now immediately all eyes are on us as far as the clerks are concerned They're following us asking us questions all this other stuff right then I don't, i'm like no we fine i'm just i know what i wanted to say let me just browse and see what i like out of nowhere while they're distracted focusing on us i bull crap you not a woman Dressed in like a suit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Looked like she was on her lunch break. Darts out of the store with a pair of shoes. The alarm goes off and everything. Me and my boy was cracking up. We said, God damn, Murphy Brown and stole a pair of kicks, man. <laughs> and we're laughing. Clerks as salty as can be. And I looked at it and I said, see, y'all was focused on us when y'all should have been focused on Murphy Brown going out with the stilettos, right? She ran in a car. I guess she had a boyfriend waiting. They, they roll off. What was the point of that damn story though, even though it was a little comical to your boy as I'm rethinking it, right? That's the same way the government works. They got y'all fighting all these little wars and got you, oh, the loot box this, the loot box that. We gotta come up with a solution. Meanwhile, they're set up as establishments to pilfer our efforts, the things that we like, because they know we're attached to them, we have a tie to them, so they can make more money. So what am I saying at the end of the day, okay? Before y'all go on these tirades, before y'all start looking to these entities for to help out the situation that they're only going to make worse, understand that the best solution is always you being on your job, okay? I understand that what Epic uh, may be doing might have a little sleaze to it. I may understand what EA did definitely with um, St uh, Battlefront 2 definitely was sleazy. But it is our job as gamers to govern ourselves, right? We can't go from one end of the pendulum to the other. Meaning, what, how we handled Battlefield 2 was fantastic, okay? But on the same front, we're dealing with EA. When EA years ago dropped uh, Mass Effect 3, they had microtransactions in there. You never heard a peep from the community. Nobody felt like they was being pilfered. There were no complaints. Why? Because EA applied it correctly. So what I'm saying is, if we can do some self-governance before we start hopping to the taxators <laughs> at hand, you know what I mean? Then I think we're gonna get a better end result. Because if we keep handling things like this, we're only gonna cut off our nose to spite our face. Loot boxes are going nowhere. Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo lobby these governments hard. Loot boxes are integral to their revenue. They're not going anywhere, but the government now got their hand out like, yeah, we want a piece of the pie. And now we got the public running with us too. So again, self-governance, when it can be done and it can get to the root of the problem is always the best means, all right? Like I said, two classic examples. We got how we handled Battlefront 2. We handled it fantastically. Disney stepped in and said, y'all are giving us too much reputational risk. We can't keep doing this. However, Mass Effect 3, with its multiplayer, it had microtransactions. Nobody really complained about it, you know what I'm saying, after it got implemented, because it wasn't too heavy-handed, right? So, understand that, y'all. Understand that. Else, we will be seeing more taxes on our hobby of choice, or even worse, these game prices are going to go up. Believe you me, do not believe the naysayers. But with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. You know, what, what, what I know, right? <laughs> what I know. But if you like what you heard from your boy, you know where you can find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. And also leave a comment section below to give your thoughts. Because who cares what I think? But with that being said, check out my people. I do a show with them. The show is called Scram Punks. My people's is Neethals. 
Dirt Griggity Snow Bunny. We do it on Dirt Griggity's channel every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out hashtag SpamPunks for more information on that. Last but not least, follow my brethren, the Rob Van Bullies. We doing the damn thing out here, you know what I'm saying? Check out that Discord link where we be cutting it up like no other. Hey, we need your support to keep it rolling. So check out that Patreon link, okay? And lastly, check out that gear. Check out the link to the gear because that gear is fly. And as always, as always, don't get your head beaten with a cash register involving the government or any other entity that's just looking to pill for you. Keep your head up. Keep your head sharp. Keep your head on the swivel. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.